peace is got through proper ways of discussion, dialogue, openness, transparency, and above all, listening to each other. The events in Kenya at the moment is we are talking at each other. We are dragging people's names who cannot defend themselves. You, Mamangina cannot defend herself. She's not in the government. She's the mother of this nation, the one we look up to. It is sad, therefore, for her name to be dragged into bonanzas, political bonanzas, calculated, supplied, equipped by none than those who hate President Uru Kenyatta, who is the President of the Republic of Kenya. The two brothers from the Rift Valley, therefore, are sounding this, the signs of war. But we call upon Kenyans not to listen to those signs of war. We call upon Kenyans to look back and look at 2007 2008. The same type of war drums or drums of war were being sounded by some of the malcontents, like Oscar Sudi and the others who are again playing the same role in hostage taking, in the politics of hostage taking. We therefore ask the people of Kenya, the people of the government of Kenya, to isolate some of these elements, get them, inculcate some sense of nationhood, of togetherness, of peace. Remove the heart of violence. People who are violent, even if they create their own party, they become violent. That violence is seen within the party. One wing of the party is violent. The other wing wants to talk. The other wing talks violently. Murkomen has hit the whole place insulting the president on TV. He kicked off the ball. He did his kicker. Now we are here. But above all, we want us as the media to say the truth and set the record correct. That Mamangina is not in government. Mamangina is a citizen like any other Kenyan citizen. She has a right to stay in Kenya. She has a right to belong to Kenya. She has a right as a human being under the Kenyan laws, but to be dragged into activities that are not her activities is sad, sardonic, prudish, and above all, on the done by malcontents who want to bring war and destroy peace. Thank you.